Well, hello there. My name is Sometimes Heather and I play Elder Scrolls Online. Today, I wanted to talk about antiquities. Since Greymoor dropped in 2020, we have been able to dig up treasures in most provinces of Tamriel. The antiquities system allows us to venture into the wild with a new purpose in mind, finding lost treasures. Discovering relics doesn't require killing or grouping up. It's a solitary pastime which will reward you with all sorts of goodies. To get started, you'll need to purchase the Greymoor chapter. Once the area is available to you, travel to Solitude to find the Antiquarian Circle. You'll need to join their club to gain access to two new skill lines. Speak with Verita Numida to get started. Verita will send you to fetch the Antiquarian's eye, a tool which you will be using later. After another conversation, you will be approved to join the guild. Verita will then send you to speak with Gabrielle. You'll find her downstairs. As Gabrielle will teach you more about the eye and the tools that come with it, you might want to pay attention. I didn't, and came to regret later. Now you'll get to try scrying for the very first time. Activating a lead will allow you to scry for the antiquity in question. In this minigame, you'll need to, if I put it in layman's terms, claim dim lilith blue orbs, facets, to gain access to all bright lilith blue orbs. All similar facets will connect to each other as you claim them. As you succeed in claiming all foci, a location of the dig site will be marked on your map. In this instance, the treasure is buried in the backyard. At the excavation site, you'll need to dig up the treasure without breaking it. Start by using your augur, the blue orb, to figure out where the treasure lays. Then use your handbrush to move dirt aside. As you advance in the skill lines, more tools are unlocked. The handbrush will be your best tool though. It is safe, efficient and easy to use. Using your brush will consume a turn, so consider your moves carefully. If you have time left, you can dig around the site to find bonus loot. Bonus loot varies from gold to low level armor to treasures. Reporting back to Verita will complete the quest. After, you are free to chase the treasures of Tamriel, which, as I have found, can prove to be a bit challenging. All provinces of Tamriel, apart from Cyrodiil, Imperial City and Blackridge, have antiquities. Leads, however, drop from all provinces. Treasures are unique to all areas and leads drop from various sources. As you finish the quest, green leads are unlocked for all areas available to you. You'll need to travel to each area to scry them. Digging up a green treasure will grant you a blue lead, and digging up a blue treasure will drop a purple lead. Each found treasure will advance your scrying and excavating skill lines. Both of these skill lines only come with passive abilities. You won't need to equip any of these abilities to use them. As usual, abilities are unlocked as you advance in the skill lines. They'll boost your skills in using tools, unlock new tools and, overall, make your life as an antiquarian easier. Activating a lead in the scryable menu will pull up the scrying minigame. In the beginning, failing is inevitable, but you do get an unlimited amount of tries. There's no rush here either. As you reach a dig site, pull up Antiquarian's Eye from your tools menu. Activating it will point you in the direction of the buried treasure. You can use the eye as many times as you need to, but there is a 30 second cooldown. Follow the tail and, eventually, you'll find an excavation site. Again, use the Augur to find green spots in the dig site. These green spots mark the treasure's resting place. Then, use your brush to reveal the treasure. What you find is yours to keep. You can sell treasures for in-game currency, equip adornments or armor, or enhance your personality through markings and outfit styles. Through the antiquity system, you have the chance to find all kinds of unique items. As your skills advance, you'll gain access to leads more challenging. 
By the time yellow leads are available, you'll have unlocked most of your passives in both skill lines. Developing an antiquarian demands a lot of skill points, so, once more, it might be smart to just have one. Leads are account-wide, so your one antiquarian character will have access to them all, no matter which one of your characters found them. As you advance in scrying, you'll get more tools. These tools will help you scry with more efficiency. You'll be able to connect facets regardless of their sorts, thus making these minigames easier to finish. With experience, more tools are unlocked. A trowel will remove all layers of dirt from a single cell, whereas a heavy shovel will remove a thin layer from a large area. You might want to be careful with these tools. They are very likely to break relics when used carelessly. The Antiquity system also grants you access to unique pieces of armor. These pieces are individual, not parts of a set. Each piece has different qualities. Some are fit for tanks, some suit Zorks best, and some can benefit vampires. Figuring out which one to use can prove to be loads of fun and unlock new perks for your characters. My favorite part about scrying is... furniture. I have an entire house dedicated solely to the treasures I found. I haven't gotten around to actually decorating it yet. First, I wish to find every piece of furniture there is to find. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next time, I hope to show you how to get a companion in ESO. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Ta!